Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a user with limited access so he can only access dedicated device groups that you determine. So what has to be done for this? Well, first head over to user and what you then have to do is first create a role. So on the left hand side, you can create a role and I will add a new role. So I will first provide the role with the name. Let's say device role. I can check for duplication first and the name is available, which is good. So this will be a custom role and I will select the organization. So I will assign it to Magic Info Services. So what I will then do is here determine what kind of access my role should have. So if it is regarding the content, the playlist and the rule set, I think this user can manage all of this. So by clicking on manage, it will tick all the boxes prior to it as well. Regarding the schedule, I think they can also manage the schedule and regarding the device, they can also manage the device. Now in case of schedule, uh, let's say you don't do not think schedule will be necessary you can just untick these boxes and they will not have any permission to the schedule but for now i will leave it open so these are the settings i want my user to have and i click save so for now the role has been created so what i would then do is head over to all on the left hand side and add a user that I will assign this role to. So at first I will fill in a user ID, let's say device role. And I also give him the same username. I will provide it with the password first. Enter a valid email address. And this is important, of course, select the organization again. The user group is always default. So I will select this as well. And here I can determine the role. Now the role that I gave it was the device role. That's how I named the role. So I will select it right here and then hit save. So what I will do now is search for the user, which was named device role. Uh, device role one, two was the name given. And I can select it. And here at the top, I have to select device permission. So right here, I can determine which device group within the organization name Magic Info I want this user to have access to. So I will tick the middle box since this is the only device group that has a device connected to it right now and click save. So please note that in this situation, the user will have access to all related content, created playlists and schedules of the organization but will only have access to the device that the user is responsible for. So if I sign out and now sign in with the username and password. So after signing in as a new user, Magic Info will always ask you to reset the password. This user is now a part of the organization Magic Info and has been a selected role with the device permission so as you can see on the left hand side there are a bit less options than what you're used to and if i head over to device i can only see the device that are in my assigned device group so in this case there's only one device in this device group which means this user will only see this device now they will see all content and playlists of the organization but in terms of device control this is all they have and as i showed you earlier in the beginning uh, at the role phase, that, that's where you can determine the access. So based on which box that you tick, the access for the user will be limited or expanded. And this is how to create a user for specific device permission. Thanks for watching.